<laughs> Why am I still holding this? I'll tell you why, because it's fucking Birmingham. Watch out. <laughs> fucking watch out. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming. <laughs> so, uh, and it's funny, it is funny when you greet somebody, you know, because you kiss them on the cheek. You know, hey, you don't. Because mm, mm, you've got to make that noise of a kiss, because if you don't, it looks fucking weird if you just go. have a sound effect. You don't give anything else a sound effect. I mean, you don't shake somebody's hand and go, hey, doing blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and it has to be the sound of a kiss you make, because if you did any other sound, it would just freak the person out if you suddenly did a fucking squeeze horn, you know? Hey, doing. It's <laughs> 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 ridiculous. See, a kiss is a sign of affection, but why does it have to have a sound effect? Like, if you just met a girl for the first time and you want to take it a step further, you wouldn't start doing sound effects to let her know how the evening's going to go, you know? Well, what I thought was... <laughs> <laughs> it's like that other one. I can't stand that. Somebody knock on your door, then walk in the room and go, oh, knock, knock. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Pointless sound effect. Why knock if you're going to say it as well? That's like a burglar breaking into your house and doing the sound of an alarm. Ding a ling 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 <laughs> Fuck, this always happens to me. <laughs> People are mad. You ever bang your arm or your leg and you go, oh, somebody say, what's the matter? I just bang me fucking arm. They start making the same face as you. Ooh! <laughs> Does it hurt? Yeah, so why the fuck are you making the face? <laughs> I get very nervous. I try to give up nicotine by smoking them electronic cigarettes. Now I'm addicted to fucking electricity. <laughs> it's brilliant. You just lick a roll up, stick it in the plug socket. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> Some people hold on to stupid superstitions before they perform. Like some sportsmen will insist on wearing the same pair of underpants. Oh, because it's lucky. Yeah, yeah. Try asking any homeless person. He wears the same pants every fucking day. <laughs> you must feel really lucky. Yeah, I love smelling a piss. <laughs> All this superstitious stuff, it freaks me out. You know, that's why I don't like Halloween. Every year I have to keep answering our front door and it's always the same great big fat kid. Rings that doorbell, asks for sweets. Ding dong, treat. Or actually, cake. <laughs> He's dressed up as a fucking skeleton. <laughs> I've never seen an overweight skeleton before, not one that needs to wear a frickin' bra anyway, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and pumpkins, what's so scary about pumpkins? It's a vegetable, for fuck's sake. Ooh, watch out for that potato. 
Please go with a vegetable that upsets you like an onion, you know? What's the point of having a vegetable that makes you cry? You're trying to make a cheese and onion sign, you're in fucking pieces. <laughs> I love cheese and onion. <laughs> Beware of the onion, for it is in league with the devil. Kids are into all that occult stuff. You know, they love the vampire series, the Twilight films. Yeah, it's all about these pasty-faced teenagers that stay out all night and do fuck all else but sleep during the day. Apparently, it's really popular with students. Wonder why? <laughs> you ever walked into your teenager's bedroom and pulled the curtains in the morning? Fucking you know, hell, they start melting. <laughs> Come on, get up! <laughs> They're in bed going, ah! pisses you off as a parent. Do you think even Dracula hates his undead kids sleeping in that long? Get up! Get up! You've been sleeping for a thousand years. Do something with your life. Dracula's kids in bed going, oh, fuck off, Dad, you fascist. <laughs> I'm staying in a very nice hotel. I don't mind hotels. I don't mind, you know, because you know when you get in your room and you think, oh, clean white sheets, fluffy towels, plump pillows. No one's ever been in this room at all but me. No, because I paid the special savers rate of 29.99. You know, you're getting out of the shower, wiping your face with that towel. No one's ever used this towel before. No. No one's ever done this with it. <laughs> no one's ever watched the adult channel while you're holding this TV remote I have in my hand. <laughs> That's why it smells of fish. Then you notice that funny yellow stain on the bath mat. Nah, that's not a stain. Quite clearly, that's the hotel logo. Because <laughs> it's just like that ominous sticky white patch on the armchair and that brown sort of skid mark on my mattress. <laughs> <laughs> but hotels do stuff like that to create that impression that they're clean. Like they'll always put that paper sash across the bog seat, you know, sanitized for your protection. Why a sash? What the fuck is that? We're not going to launch it, are we? You're not getting on that bog, tearing off that sash, going, I named this bog the huge clear-out. <laughs> God bless her and all who's sailing her. <laughs> you know my worst bug bugbear about hotels? You can never get any sleep, because there's always that randy couple in the room next door, won't stop shagging. All night, the other night, oh, Darren, oh, Darren. Why does she keep calling out his name? He never answers. What's he going to say? I'm busy. <laughs> Darren. Oh, Darren. Then the headboard starts banging on the wall, you know, Darren. Oh, Darren. 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 After a while, you start joining in. Darren. 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 For fuck's sake, hurry up! <laughs> and you can't ring downstairs to the front desk with that one. Excuse me, there's two people next door. Won't stop shagging. I know, and you can't stop them. <laughs> no, I don't want you to stop them. I want you to come up and put a window in. I want to have a Johnny Quango. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's always that when you're making love, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yes. Mind you, what else can you say? I mean, you can't start having a conversation at that point, you know? I was thinking of going around Auntie Vera's tomorrow. <laughs> for a ham tea and a slice of quiche. <laughs> Mind you, he can't say anything. All the blood's gone from here. It's all down here, you know? <laughs> you all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking? My car needs a service. You ever get one of those, a product recall? It's a letter in the post. Do you drive the Ford Okie Koki 250? Then unfortunately, we've discovered a fault that may cause certain vehicles to explode and catch fire while in use. And then it says, so drive it to your local dealer. How the fuck can I do that? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, you won't miss me. I'll be arriving in a ball of flames. <laughs> I mean, what if they want you to bring it back because there's something wrong with the brakes? How the fuck does that work? So, <laughs> <laughs> Fix those, will ya? <laughs> You sent the letter. <laughs> Everything is safety now. Like when they put your kid in the car, it has to go on one of those baby carriers, and you've got to put it in the seat up backwards, you know? Oh, because it's safer. Well, if it's safer, why don't we all sit backwards and fucking reverse everywhere then? <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you doing? It's safer. <laughs> I 
I don't like going out the supermarket in my car. I can't stand it. You know when you're on your way back to your car, you've got arms full of fucking heavy carrier bags, you know? And that car pulls up, that bloke wants your parking space, he starts doing all that mime shit from his car. Are you going? <laughs> Are you going now? You know, you start miming back. No, I thought I'd take these heavy bags for a fucking walk. <laughs> it being a nice day and everything. <laughs> As soon as you get in your car, you turn into a ventriloquist. As soon as you get in your car, you're like, I'm just going now. Ha, <laughs> you tosser. <laughs> yeah, you know, anger. <laughs> it's the same when you're at the garage, you're at the petrol pump. You know, if you're waiting for somebody, you're sitting in your car going, come on, mate, you got your petrol. What's the fucking hold up? Come on, come on. Oh, but if somebody's waiting for you, different story. You know, you're on your way back to your car going, fucking all right, all right. <laughs> in the shop I wanted to look at. <laughs> Do you ever use those plastic gloves they have next to the pumps up the garage? <laughs> now you're standing in the overnight garage wearing one of those plastic gloves on your hand trying to get the attendant's attention. Suddenly you look like Michael Jackson filling up his fucking car. <laughs> yeah, pump number two. <laughs> pump number two. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, mate. <laughs> I've stepped in diesel. <laughs> it's getting slower and slower to drive anywhere these days, especially around town, you know, because all the councils have put those speed bumps up every road. So now you and your wife will be driving on one of these local roads now, going over these speed bumps. Suddenly look like a couple of members of JLS sing one of their songs. <laughs> You have to be careful on the roads, especially when there's kids around. You know, if a kid suddenly walks out in front of your car while you're driving at slower, more responsible speed, then he stands a much better chance of putting his hand through your window and nicking your fucking stereo. <laughs> Drive slowly, watch out for the kids. I don't think they've been ran our way. That's why they show that advert on the TV. That's to warn us. If you're driving at 20 miles an hour, there's a 50% chance I might get your radio. <laughs> Hit me at 30 and there's an 80% chance I might get your wallet and mobile phone. I don't get speed bumps. It must be especially tricky for ambulances. You know, they're in the back. It's an emergency. The sirens are going. Some bloke's having a cardiac arrest, you know? And the medic is like, ah, just stay still. <laughs> while I give you this injection. <laughs> just to come. I travel a lot, I travel flying, flying's getting worse. It's not the planes, it's the airports. They take everything away from me now at airport security. Perfumes, creams, drinks, no fluid on the plane whatsoever. Why? Terrorists are gonna try and smuggle explosives onto the plane, not a can of your wife's fucking L'Oreal hairspray. It's some mad terrorist bloke somewhere going, I was in Abu Ghraib for 20 years, because I'm worth it. <laughs>